Right, so I'm going to be doing another left-hand thread over here. I've now got the starting point of A at the side over here, and I'm showing that that A is down at the bottom over here. Um, whenever I'm doing a left-hand thread, if I know that the starting point is at the bottom, then you need to do your numbering in a clockwise direction. All right, so if that is number one over there at point A, then I need to go in a clockwise direction. There is two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve over there. All right. Uh, when I'm numbering this thing, this line over here would be number one. That would be two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, going back to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, going back to 1. All right. Note that I've got these two sections. It's a, they're wanting two turns of this, um, this helix. So I start down over here and I say, can I see from 1 to 2? Yes, I can all the way around to seven. So I can start my helix and I can go from one to two, two to three, three to four, four to five, five to six, six to seven is all done in dark. Then it goes hidden detail over here, going between eight and nine. Why? Because, well, all of those from seven to eight, all the way around to one over there is going to be in hidden detail. So I've got hidden detail going along here. all the way up to that point over there. Um, that point over there, you'll see, is one again. And now I need to go dark. Why? Because I can see that at the front going up to seven over there, coming around, and it's now hidden detail again, um, going between these points over here, all the way up, going up to there. That's the end.